Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Can you guys hear me? Hello? Good evening, teacher. Yes, good, evening. good evening. How are you? Good evening. Hi. Good evening. How are you? Good evening. Hi. Good evening. How is everybody? How is everybody this this evening? Pretty good? Great. Yeah? All really right. good. All right. I like to hear that. Excellent. Thank you. All right. Hello, Susana. Susana Beatriz. Is that right? Susana Beatriz is it? Yeah? Yes, teacher. Hi. Hello, how are you? How, how are you? Susana, Beatriz, how are you? I find thing. You're, you're fine? I find thing. Yes, teacher. Okay, okay, good, good. Do you prefer to be called Susana or Beatriz? No, I prefer Susana. You prefer Susana. Okay, okay, perfect. All right. Yeah, I I always like to ask uh, what people prefer because um uh, you know sometimes some people don't like a certain name or you know or feel more comfortable with something. So I prefer to ask always. Okay, how was how was your day? Um, it's a normal day. Um. Mm. It's a uh, on on uh, only I I went I went um I visited the the doctor uh, my parent my father my father uh -huh. oh mm -hmm. you you visited your your father uh, yes it's a control a check control the oh, medic uh -huh. oh okay you went uh -huh. to the <laughs> You went to a doctor's appointment. A doctor. Mm -hmm. uh, a doctor. A, yes. Yeah, you went uh, to a doctor's appointment. Appointment. Uh -huh. Appointment. Yes, it's a appointment. Okay. Uh, because uh, he he has no sorry, he had a, a cirugy in the eggs. Oh, he has uh, eye surgery. Excuse I, me. Eye surgery. Eye surgery. Yeah. Eye surgery. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. In the eggs. Uh huh. Oh, okay. Okay. Yes, eye surgery. Yeah, I get it. Um, in a uh, uh, recently or or a long time ago. Uh, uh because uh, um, it's a how do you say tumor? A tumor, a tumor, tumor is oh. uh, is the, the here is here's eggs. He says oh. it's like exactly in the pomulo. <laughs> uh -huh, in the oh okay in the cheekbone. Mm -hmm. Cheek this is cheekbone. Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh okay okay I see. All right, but is he okay now? Is everything okay now? Yes, 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 it's a control, but okay. it's a, mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, okay, okay, so everything was okay? Today? Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> okay, good, okay. I'm glad, I'm glad to hear that, excellent. Okay. Okay, very good, and uh, we have Wendy Maribel. Present teacher. Hi, how are you, Wendy? Um, I'm doing how are you? Yeah? A little. Well, 
Okay. My day is a very my day was a, a little tired. Oh really? I I I take no take oh uh, I eat my lunch in the mm -hmm. Oh wow! I ate. I ate. Yeah. yeah, you you ate your lunch in your office. Yes. Oh wow! So it was a very busy day today. Hello, Wendy. Uh huh. <laughs> so a very very busy day today. I didn't understand. It was a very, very busy day today. Busy. To, yeah, because you ate. Ah, uh, my day. Yeah. Was was busy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, do you prefer to be called Wendy or Maribel? I prefer Wendy. Wendy. Okay. <laughs> Okay. All right. Very good. Okay. Excellent. Thank you, Wendy. Well, um, I hope you have a, a, a relaxing evening then. Yeah. Okay. Uh, hello, Manuel Antonio. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Yeah? Good, yes. Okay, good, good. How how was your day? Uh, okay. Uh, today I didn't work. Oh. Yes, really? I have I have a free free day. <laughs> oh, a, yes. a free day or a day off? Uh, no, a free day. Okay. I, um when you don't work we we say a day off yeah a day off day off yes yes when you when you don't work a day that you don't work we call that a day off day off yeah but may i may i say free time mm, free time is actually uh, used when we are talking about um, the time uh, after work. Okay. Uh, so uh, it's like when you when you don't have to work. Like uh, for example, I finish work at five. Let's say. Okay. Imagine I finish work at five o'clock, and after five, it's my free time. Okay, so I can okay. do whatever I want after five o'clock. After, after work. Yeah, exactly. It's like after work, after I when I don't have any responsibilities. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But, okay. But, mm -hmm. uh, also, uh, I take a. I don't know. I forget this this word, but is a uh, like a person is. Uh, when in Spanish is a, a una persona como indigente o los homeless. Indigente es homeless. Pero pero tiene otra tiene otra palabra es como un desvalido algo así. Oh, you mean like a sickly? The uh, uh, is a cripple man. It's a cripple man. Handicapped. Uh, it's a person that, that he doesn't uh, doesn't talk very well. Doesn't doesn't walk very well. Doesn't walk very well. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay, yeah, that's crippled, yeah. Like a, a crippled man. Ajá. Una persona de valida, o sea, Ajá. abandonada, algo así. Una persona y, de la... 
yeah um i take to the to the doctor I take oh it. okay 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 it's the best way to to say that in english would be handicapped yeah so um if you say crippled it it sounds a little a little bit um a mm, like offensive let's say oh, okay. so yeah so the best the way yeah the 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 best way that um so it doesn't sound um yeah it, the politically correct way would be to say disabled okay the like in the chat please <laughs> oh yeah 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 okay <laughs> of course i'll do that this this Disabled. 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 Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay. Disabled or handicapped. Disabled man. This handy. Yeah. Let me just make sure if it's handicapped is with double P. Um just give me a moment. Yeah, so handicapped. Okay, disabled handicapped. or handicapped. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Oh, okay. Besides, uh, uh, today, uh, yesterday, my daughter, uh, were, uh, was was, mm -hmm. uh, in 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 her birthday. In her what? Uh, in her birthday. 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 Ah, she birthday. had her birthday. Birthday. Yes. She, oh yeah. So your yeah, daughter today, had a birthday. Had a birthday. And uh -huh. today uh, we we went to to the the centro <laughs> because he downtown. Uh, you went uh, downtown. The uh, centro uh, to. Uh, to receive or earn her document, do we? Oh, okay. Yeah, to to he, um. He has the legal age. Ah, okay, okay. So you went to get her her Dewey issued. Dewey issued. Yeah, you went to get her Dewey. Issued. Issued. Yeah, issued. Yeah. Issued. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's great. Very good. Um, so uh, you had a busy day. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Wow, that's that's great. That's good. Um, I'm glad you you had a good day then. Yes. Yeah. Did you have to wait very long at the Dewey Centro? Uh, well, uh, mm -hmm. around uh, 45 minutes. Hmm. Yes, okay. It's, a, it's a very quickly. Yeah. For today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good, though. That's good. I'm glad. Um, I'm glad you didn't have to wait very long. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, very good. Um, so I have a question for you. Do you prefer to be called Manuel or Antonio? Manuel, no matter. <laughs> Manuel is okay? Yes. Okay, okay, very good, very good. Um, excellent. All right, and we have Delbert. Delbert Arturo, how are you? Hi, I, I, I'm pretty good. Yeah? Thank you for okay. asking. Good, good, good. How was your day? Yeah, it was pretty good. Uh, yeah, working. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I, I have to uh, check uh, 
many documents in my in my work. Uh, it was easily for me. Mm -hmm. I think it is it's not it's it's not a busy it it wasn't a busy day. Hmm. It wasn't a busy day. Okay, yeah. good. Do you like busy days? Nope. <laughs> no? Okay. All right. I don't, so, I don't like so, busy days. Okay, good, good. Okay, so so then it was a good day. Yes. Mm, okay, okay, good, excellent. Do you prefer to be called Delbert or Arturo? Um, whatever. Um, many people uh, call me Delbert because it's a strange name. And mm. uh, prefer uh, call me Delbert, but uh, is it, it doesn't matter for me. Or oh, Delbert Arturo is 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 good. Okay, so okay, so but, what do you prefer? <laughs> uh, do you identify more with Delbert, or do you identify identify more with Arturo? Uh, maybe Delbert. Delbert. Okay. All right. I'll call you Delbert then. Okay. Okay, okay, good, good, good. good. <laughs> okay, okay, excellent. And um, let me see who else I have here. Romario Gamaliel, how are you? Good evening. Uh, I'm good. Good evening. Thank you. Good. I'm glad to hear. I'm glad to hear that. How was your day? Well, was kind of relaxed. It was yeah. Day. Oh, yeah, good. I, yeah, I I work. Uh, from home almost all the time. Mm. Okay, okay, wow. So you always work from home or, or do you always, yeah? Uh, okay. Sometimes I have to go uh, to, the, to the factory, but I almost work all the time here. Oh, nice. Nice, very good. Do, do you like working from home or do you prefer to to leave the house? Well, I'm getting used to it because it's it's a new job. I have four months. Mm. Um, some I like some things and some things not much. Mm -hmm. The things I like is I, I avoid the traffic every day. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. sometimes it can be a little bit boring to be here at home. <laughs> so yeah, uh, that's the the negative thing. Yeah, but I know. the The way I find that it's the best balance when you are working from home is always have somewhere to go after work. Okay. So leave your house after after work leave your house to do something fun like uh, whatever uh, or you know to go run errands or something um, so that you you feel the difference you know you're not bored at home yeah because if you just stay at home that's then it becomes very um, uh, it's not only boring but also can can become tedious to be just at home all the time Thank yeah you for, for the advice but yeah. sometimes I, I have to travel abroad so it's it's oh. not always i'm not always good at home so it's, mm -hmm. it can be a little bit dynamic oh <laughs> good 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 what do you do well i'm a quality supervisor for the, for the central america region i work with people uh -huh. Oh, nice. Yeah, I have to visit different plants, different factories uh -huh. in Central America. Oh, nice, nice, interesting. So you travel just Central America or do you travel other places too? For the moment, only in Central America. But oh, okay. Perhaps I, I, in the future, I could go to Colombia or Mexico. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Okay, yeah, well, it's great. Um, um, that's nice to be able to travel uh, by, you know, from work, you know, that's that's really great. You can get to uh, see other places and, and, still, uh, and still be able to work. So that's good, excellent. Yeah. And do you prefer Romario or Gamaliel? Romario, it's- Okay. 
Okay. All right. Perfect. Excellent. Um, okay, great. I also see um, Maria Elena. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Welcome. How are you? Um, a little tired. Yeah, why? Um, because with my son, I get out to house 5 a.m. Oh. I don't know, 7.30. <laughs> oh, wow. You, you left um, the home at 7.30. Yeah. Yeah, that can be tiring. I get it. Um, it's so, but you, you came home early or, or you just came home? Excuse me? Did you come home early or did you just come home? No, I'm always uh, get out my house um five i am to oh. um, my branch in san salvador uh -huh. uh, then we we is no trouble the travel <laughs> to san vicente Oh, okay, yeah. but I, I meant, like, did you just come home or did, like, right now, like, you said that you left your house at 7.30. Did you just come home or did you come home earlier? Mm. All right. Mm. Uh -huh. 6 a.m., no, 6 p.m., uh branch um tercera i think it's tercera calle in san salvador and then i need get um translate to my home in my car Traf to travel home uh -huh. you need travel. to travel travel not translate travel oh. Travel to the branch in San Salvador at my home, but by uh, traffic, um, one hour or one left hour. Mm -hmm. I see. Okay, yeah, I get it. Yeah, the traffic sometimes is is a real pain. <laughs> yeah, I get it. Okay, and um. It, how how far how far do you usually travel like how 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 many minutes or hours do you usually travel to work in the morning maybe the branch to san vicente um uh, one hour or one half hour Mm. Uh, because we travel for literal and is for what for literal uh, street literal oh shoreline Sh the the shoreline not literal literal doesn't exist in english it's shoreline shoreline yeah shoreline shoreline mm -hmm. Mm, or this, yeah, the shoreline. Okay, I see. Okay. And uh, you like to be called Maria Elena together? Yes. Okay. 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 Very good. Excellent. Okay. All right, guys. Um, right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take attendance. I know there are other people that I that just came in, I haven't had a chance to to say hi to, but we'll I'll give a chance to to say hi during the the um the attendance. So we'll start right now. Um okay. Uh Chris mm, hold on. Yeah. Christian uh, Natalie.
she said yesterday that she was uh, joining at nine. Ah, uh, yes, today is Tuesday. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for reminding me. Um, Delbert Arturo. I'm here, teacher. Okay, thank you, Delbert. Uh, Diana Elizabeth. Here, teacher. All right, wonderful. Do you prefer to be called Diana or Elizabeth? Diana. Okay, wonderful. How was your day, Diana? Uh, it was fine. Good. Okay, I'm glad to hear that. Excellent. Um. Okay, Jennifer Elizabeth. Here. Okay, wonderful. Do you prefer to be called Jennifer or Elizabeth? Jennifer is okay. Jennifer, okay, wonderful. How was your day, Jennifer? Well, it has been a very tough day. Oh. Uh, there are a lot of work. But... Really? Mm. Yeah. I'm sorry to hear that, but well, sometimes having a lot of work is good because you don't... Um, uh, the day goes about uh, about a lot faster, right? So that's that's something positive, I yeah, guess. Yeah, sometimes hours is are not enough. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Okay, well, hopefully tomorrow will be a better day for you. Let's hope. Great, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And and um, it, so you you prefer Jennifer. Yes. Okay, perfect. All right, excellent. Okay, and Jorge Humberto? Jorge Humberto is not here? Okay, all right. Manuel Antonio? Present teacher. Wonderful. Uh, Maria Elena? Good evening. Wonderful. Good Excellent. Ma Mario Ernesto Villeda. Present teacher. Okay, wonderful. Uh, Mario Ernesto, is it possible for you to open your camera? In a, in a second. Okay, also I need you to uh, change your name so that it's your complete name. So right now you just appears like Mario Villeda. I need you to put Mario Ernesto Villeda because that's how it appears in your, in your Dewey. So if you can do that favor for me as well. Okay. Mario, can you hear me? Oh. Okay. okay, wonderful. All right, there you are. Do you, so I guess you prefer Mario, right? Mario and not Ernesto? No. Mario is okay. Mario is okay. Okay, very good. Very good. How was your day, Mario? Oh, a long day and busted day. Oh, really? You had a... Yes. a oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Okay. Well, hopefully then tomorrow will be a better day for you. Yes, thanks. Yeah, okay. All right, um, let's continue. I have a Mario Jose Valle Casaneda. No, not here. Mario Jose Valle Casaneda. No? Okay. Norma Carolina Villeda? Present the chat. Okay, very good. Thank you, Norma. Eh, Mario, so, sorry, sorry. Uh, Romario Camaliel Portillo Salazar? Present. Okay, wonderful. Silvia Suleima Rodriguez? Present the chat. Okay, wonderful. Do you prefer Silvia or Suleima? Suleima teacher. Suleima. Okay, wonderful. All right. Susana Beatriz. 
present teacher. Okay, thank you. And Wendy Maribel Zabaleto Ochoa. Wendy Maribel. Okay, wonderful. Uh, did, did you tell me that you prefer Wendy? You said Wendy? You prefer Wendy, right? What? You prefer Wendy, right? You prefer the name Wendy? Yes, Wendy. Maribel. <laughs> oh, or Maribel. What, what do you prefer? Yeah. Wendy. Wendy. It's okay. Okay. Yeah. okay, wonderful. Excellent. Okay. All right, guys. Um, I, I want to remind everybody uh, that uh, two things, very, very important, two very important things. One is that I need your, you, you I, I need, this is a reminder from yesterday. One, I need you to always check when you are connecting that your name is complete when you connect so that when we see your name, it's complete, just like it is at the Dewey. Um, check that you, you know, if you in the Dewey, there's two names, that you have their two names. If you have two last names, make sure that it has two last names. And also make sure that your camera is turned off. Sorry, sorry, turned on. Sorry, um, when you are in class, remember, it's important that our cameras are on because that is a requirement from INSAFORP. Okay, so uh, that's the first reminder that we need to check that, um, that we have those two requirements. The other reminder is that just like we, was it was mentioned in the, um, in the WhatsApp group, uh, we must be connecting always to class uh, from the beginning, try to connect on time and every day because these groups, normally we have to open them with 20 people, okay? That is what INSA Forbes um, asks for, 20 people to open the course. But they have made an exception with this, with this um, group. There's only fourteen of you in the in the in the module, and they have made an exception so that you don't lose the opportunity of continuing the the the, the module. They made an exception to open it with fourteen people, but that means that everybody has to make sure that they are connecting every day and that they are participating. And especially with groups like this, uh, you know, Insaforp is going to be, uh, you know, monitoring, making sure that, that you know, the students are participating and connecting because they're making exceptions with these groups, okay? So that's why it's important that everybody um, cooperates with the attendance and with your cameras on at all times with your uh, your name complete and all those things okay so um so i i ask your cooperation with that um any are there any inconveniences with those two things no Everything is okay then? You guys can 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 help us out with those two things? Yeah? Okay. Okay, good, good. And like I said before, eh, sometimes for whatever reason, it's, it's a possibility that we need to turn off our camera for a few minutes. But literally it should be a few minutes. It should not be more than you know, 10 minutes, you know, because uh, really we need to be in class. You know, if you guys have said that you can be, in, you have time between 8 p.m. to 10 p.m., it's because you can be in class with, you know, you can be taking the class uh, at that time. So that's why uh, you guys need to, to, um, you know, make sure that you are participating and that in, includes, you know, your camera on, okay? Okay, so anyway, that that's just, um, 
you know, something to, to, um, to take into account. And right now what we're going to do is um, we are going to start, um, hold on, give me a second, guys. We're going to start the class in, with a PowerPoint presentation. Um, Give me a moment. Okay. All right, guys. Um, so please tell me if you can see my PowerPoint. Yes, teacher. I can see it. Yes, it's all. Okay, good, excellent. All right, so here, this is a course uh, English for Work program, the Advanced Module 2. Uh, your facilitator is Jessica Guerrero, and um, today is March 21st, 2023. Okay, so we're gonna start. Um, these were the groups that we had yesterday, and I, I promised you guys that I was gonna give you um, a, a few minutes for you guys to finish off the exercises. So I'm going to right now um, put you back into these groups, okay? So just give me a second while I get these groups together. Just a second, guys. Okay, here we go. Um, okay, so in group number one, um, I had okay, so in group number one, I had uh, Chris. Alicia, who is not here, um, Romario, and Suleyma. So you guys will be in one group. In group number two, I had Jorge, um, who is not, not here, no. Norma. And Wendy. Okay, so you guys are going to be in another group. Um, then we had in group number three, we had Jennifer, um, Maria Elena, and uh, Maria Jose. In group number four, I had Delbert, uh, Manuel Antonio. And Susanna. Um, and I guess yesterday, uh, I guess we didn't have uh, Diana, Elizabeth, and Mario Ernesto. So, what I will do is I will add you guys to a group. Okay, um, so you guys can can work with another group and, um they can help you, they can guide you in what we're doing, okay? Um, how much time do you guys need? Uh, would five minutes be okay? Would it be okay for five minutes? Or, or do you need more time? It's for it's the, okay. the last, uh, the last homework, the, the, yeah. the last exercise. Yeah, the last exercise that we were doing at the end of the class yesterday, okay. you, we were we were doing the exercises about um, using gerunds mm -hmm. after verbs, right? So that exercise, okay, it, with the um, the exercise, or it's in the group in the WhatsApp group. Okay. So, do you guys need five minutes or ten? 
I think if five minutes is okay, teacher, because sure. uh, in my case, mm -hmm. uh, I already uh, finished. Perfect. Uh, okay. Uh, All right. Okay, so I'll give I'll give you guys give you five minutes then. Okay, so in five minutes I'll bring everybody back. Okay, so here we go. I, I think we have Hi. to to reorder the sentences and that are in the chat. Uh, yesterday we had already to it, so. Hi, yes, I I wasn't in the class yesterday, and I mm -hmm. joined the group today. I'm going to show you right now. These are the sentences we have to, to reorder. They are already ordered, so we have, we're done with the, with the work, but if you want. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. um, they were in this order, so uh, here they are. They are already in order, but I don't know if you want to, to see how they were yesterday. I'm going to show you. This. Okay. Ah, it's from the platform. Yeah. For the platform. Yeah. Um, okay. So this was the 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 homework. We had to reorder all of these uh, phrases into one sentence. So. Um, okay. I already uh, put it here in the, in the work document. So. Um, I don't know if you want to check the right or the list. Yeah, I'm not. WhatsApp, no one. Sí, yes. Uh, Wendy, are you um are you having problems with your camera? Entiendo. Huh? No le entiendo. Are you having problems with your camera? Okay. No. Okay, no. es que no la miramos. Es que estaba viendo la, ah, estaba viendo el WhatsApp. Ah, okay, okay, okay. All right. Uh -huh. Okay, just checking. All right, continue. Okay. okay. Uh, is there any problem in this group?
Any problems, guys? Hi, good evening. Hi, oh. good evening. Everybody's so quiet. <laughs> yes, uh, um, I'm disconnected, but I am here again. Okay, okay. It's just everybody is so quiet, so I don't hear you guys talking. Um, I don't know. <laughs> are are you we guys talking? Are you are you doing the exercises? Uh, I am Basi. The book because I am I am I know. Lo descargué, pero no lo encontraba. Pero ya lo encontré. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Mario and Jennifer. Um, guys, are you... Están trabajando juntos o everybody's working together or what's going on? Um, not from the platform, from the exercise that we did yesterday. Uh-huh. Okay. 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 Um Mario, have you tried like what's what's the problem? Like you can't you can't uh, turn off that like you can't um turn the microphone on? Mm. Okay. Okay. What you can try if if this if it's not working, what you can try is leave leave the 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 um the platform and come back. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. So um hopefully that helps. Okay. All right. And uh are you finished guys, Jennifer and and Maria Elena, are you working together? You finished the exercise? Oh. Hmm? I'm on. Perdón, chica, no, 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 no les oigo. I'm sorry, I have my mic. My... Yes, I finished. And that is was difficult to hear me. Sorry for that. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, I'm about to, to to finish the exercises. Okay. Remember to work. You're you're working together, right? So make sure that um, Maria Elena can also has the same answers, right? So work together. Okay. Yeah. In my case, it's uh, when I speak. Mm -hmm. My phone turned off <laughs> mm -hmm. and I'm out the Zoom and my phone not working. And I need to uh, turn off camera when I want to speak. Okay. I see. Okay. So you have problems also with your, with your, your internet connection? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, estoy con mis datos. Mm, Se supone yeah. que arreglaron el link de los datos. Lo mejoraron, pero no. No okay. sé. Okay. No okay. 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 All right. Thank you. All right. Um, I'll see you in the main room in a moment.
from from uh, uh, no. she didn't mind participating uh, a long thing from abroad right it's okay it's correct okay number six uh, okay uh, that you share the manager discussed preparing her activities to strengthen team work. Okay. Fantastic. Right. right. Thank you. For, thank you for sharing because in the platform, uh, you, uh, only only are five five sentences. Okay, guys, I think, is that everybody? Perdimos algunos en el camino. Okay, all right, so we're going to check the answers. Um, please tell me, can you see the PowerPoint? Can you see the presentation? you see it guys or no? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. Okay, just a second, I think. And there it goes. There it is, okay. All right, so we're going to be checking the answers. Okay, so, um, We will start with uh, Delbert. Could you help me with number? Well, actually, number one, we did it together, right? Um, can you remind me what we said for number one? Uh, the number one. Mm -hmm. Okay. He considers uh, making his presentation about communication in the workplace. Uh, sorry, diversity and communication in the workplace. Like that, right? Is that her, Delver? I think it's OK. OK, good. All right, very good. Thank you very much. Um, okay, for number two, uh, Diana, could you help me with number two, Diana? Okay, thank you. Um, second. Sorry, yes, Diana, I, I can't. Oh, Diana, you're having problems with the, uh, right? With the internet, yes. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. All right, okay, so, all right, yes, yeah, so they suggest? They suggest creating a team that ensures all diversity issues are handled in the appropriate, appropriate manner. 
Okay. It, okay, so they suggest creating a team that ensures. What's the other part? All diversity issues are handled in the appropriate manner. Okay, there we go. Thank you. Like that one, like that. Is that is that okay? I think so. Okay, thank you very much. All right. Okay. And for number three, can we have let's see? Uh Jennifer, can you help us with number three, Jennifer? Hold on. Employees enjoy working. Hold on. Employees enjoy working with an extensive range of people who have cultural differences. Like that? Is that correct? Employees enjoy working with an extensive range of people who have cultural differences. Yes, I think. Yeah, okay, very good. All right, excellent, thank you very much. And Suleyma, could you help me with number four, please? The boss, the boss keep. Sorry, Suleyma, I can't see you. Okay. The boss mm -hmm. um, keep in, no, the boss insists keep okay. with high communication juices with the new employees okay so the boss the boss <clears throat> insist keep keep or insist <laughs> uh which one's first keep kept no okay so kept <laughs> insist mm -hmm. insist mm -hmm. we have communication Jesus with the new employees. <laughs> like that? Mm -hmm. Is that correct? Excuse me, I don't understand. <clears throat> Is that correct? What what I wrote? Mm. According this? the rule. Um, Is this oh, correct? No. According to the rule, you only only means the ing in the in the word insist insisting. What do you think, Sulema? Do you mm -hmm. agree? Yes, I agree. Okay, so what should I put then? <coughs> can you can you say the sentence for me again? <clears throat> Excuse me, teacher. <clears throat> are, are you okay? Yes, okay. I have a toast. Oh, uh, a cough. Uh -huh. Yeah, cough. Okay. <clears throat> Do you want to go drink some water? Uh, go get some water so that that it you feel better. Okay. 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 <clears throat> so oh, we'll go back to that one later. Okay. So we'll 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 
we'll go back to you when you when you when you get better. Okay, so let's go to number five. Um, let's see. Diana, can you help us, Diana, for number five? Okay. She didn't mind participating a long term from a bro. A long team, sorry. Like that? Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Thank you. All right. And uh, Mario Ernesto, can you help me with number six, please? Okay. The last one. The last one, yes. Okay. The manager prepared new activities so straight teamwork discusses. Okay, the manager prepared. The manager prepared new activities to straight straighten thing work discuss. Okay, the manager prepared new activities to strengthen teamwork discuss. Strengthen teamwork discuss. discussing. Discussing. Like that? Yes. Okay. Um, all right. So remember the topic? The topic that we're we're looking at, Mario, is gerunds after verbs. Right? Um So, what's the verb? Prepare. What's the verb? Prepare. Prepare. Okay, what's the verb in the ing then? Preparing? No. No. Okay. Yes. The verb, the verb, sorry. Okay. What's the gerund? Which one is the gerund? Mm, no, no, no. Okay. So you say, okay. So from what I understand, um, you're saying, that the the verb is um, prepare, yes. right? Yes. And so, if the verb is prepare, then my question is, what is the gerund? Uh, no, no, I don't know. Remember the gerund is 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 created by putting a verb plus ing. So which one is the the the, the gerund? Ing the, the, the form of the verb plus ing preparing. Right. The so preparing your activities. So which word here can we change to a gerund? Mm. No, I don't know. We can't, right? There is no other verb here that we can change to a gerund. So that means that prepare is not the verb. Prepared is going to be the gerund. Yeah? Does that make sense, Maria? 
What is the, 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 the verb? Okay, you tell me. Which one is the verb? The verb means discuss. Discuss. Exactly. Very good. Very good. Okay, so if the verb is discussed, if the verb is discussed, and after, then and we have to use a gerund after the verb, discussing. then we have to change the order here. So what would be the correct order here? So let's let's start from the beginning. What is the subject? The subject, the manager. Okay, good. The manager. Now we need a verb. The manager discussing. Discussing. Okay. Hold on, wait. The manager the, what? Discussing. Discussing. Yes. What does it say there? What what word does it say? Does it say discussing? The what manager does... discuss. Discussed. Very good. Discussed. That's it. Okay. No, no change. The manager discussed. Okay. Period. Okay. So the manager discussed. Okay. After discussed, we're going to put the gerund. What's the gerund? What's 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 the verb that we need to change to the gerund? What did which one did we which word did we say was the gerund? Mm. It's highlighted. Prepare. Prepare, very good. So change prepare to the gerund. Mm, preparing. Preparing, very good. Okay, so the manager discussed preparing what? New activities to very ready to work. Excellent. Very good. Strengthen. Okay, bravo. Very good. Oh. So there you go. So the manager discussed preparing new activities to strengthen teamwork. That's it. Excellent. Very, very good. Okay. All right, so let's go back to Suleyma. Are you okay now, Suleyma? Yes. Okay, wonderful. Okay, so now let's go back to number four. So what do we need to change here? Stand up. Sorry? Suleyma? Uh, I didn't I didn't hear you. No, teacher, I, I don't listen. Okay. But, but I told you we were going to go back to number four to 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 make the changes necessary. So what's the problem with number four? Mm. Um, the order uh, the the verb <clears throat> no the no, verb just, is the, no. the, the verb mm -hmm. order the verb is fine do you have a gerund in number four is there a gerund uh, in the insist insisting good exactly to make Insist a gerund, we have to say insisting. Okay. 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 So we have the boss kept insisting. We had communication issues with the new employees. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. And there you go. Those are the answers, guys. 
Do you guys have any questions you want to ask before we continue? Yeah, on the platform, the number five, uh, even I copied it, apostrophe, the platform does not accept that answer. I don't know if I missed something on that answer. It doesn't accept the answer? No. Even I copy the apostrophe from the from the page and change to the other one. It doesn't accept the answer. I don't know if you need to copy the didn't. Didn't. Yes, yes, I did that, but, but... Oh, okay. In my case, yes, I I, I already finished mm -hmm. Co copy and paste is okay. Yeah. It... I would suggest go back and make sure that you have literally copied and pasted everything and that you haven't left any spaces, okay? That sometimes the problem can be that we leave a space. If you leave one space that is not supposed to be there, it will not take your answer. Yeah, I already deleted one. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Now, now I accept it? It's yes, okay. I have an additional, an, an extra space. Yeah. Between yeah. one of the words. Okay, perfect, perfect. Okay, excellent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, sometimes I know it's tedious, but sometimes the, ans the answer is as simple as that. It's just making sure that you you don't have an extra space or, um, or you know, sometimes that uh, the, the punctuation is not correct. A letter... Just one letter can make a difference. One space, one punctuation. Okay. All right, guys. Um, anything else? No? Sorry, this is clear? Yeah? Okay. All right. So I'm going to clear this. And we're going to go on to the next part which is, no, oh, hold on. Okay, there it is. Okay, so we're now going to look at this, this vocabulary here, okay? Um, are you guys familiar with these words? Cultural stereotypes, inclusion, misconceptions, ethnicity. Are you guys familiar with those words or are these words new for you? Are some of these words new for you? Yeah, uh, so. Misconceptions. Misconceptions, okay, good. All right, what we're gonna do because some of these words may be mm, words that you already know, but some of them may be new. What we're gonna do is we're going to be working in groups and we're gonna be discussing this vocabulary. So what do these words mean? Um, you're gonna all share your own ideas and so that we can at the end have a consensus of what is cultural stereotypes, What's inclusion? What are misconceptions? What's ethnicity? Okay. Um, so I'm going to uh, share. I mean, this is in your in your in your manual, but still, I will share this um, this uh, picture with you. Okay, and. Um, I'm going to create the groups right now, okay? So that you guys can talk about it, discuss what the those vocabulary mean. Um, Suleima, Diana, Mario, Cristia, if you guys can turn on your camera. I don't know if you're there. Are you there so I can include you guys in the groups? Yes, teacher. Okay. If 
you make sure that you have your camera on. Mario, are you there? Yes, Tisha. Okay, wonderful. Grisia, are you there? Yes, Miss, but but I'm driving right now because oh, yeah. I'm I'm going to go out to my class. Okay, I see. Um. Okay. Um. Okay. So. Uh, let's see. Okay, so I'm going to give you guys about 10 minutes to discuss this, um, uh, the vocabulary, and you can go to the internet as well, use the internet if you need anything to be able to clarify any vocabulary, okay? So I'm opening the groups right now, and I'm going to send the picture to the WhatsApp group. Again, the teacher uh, sent the the ah the image. We have to work. The definitions. Yes. Cultural stereotypes. Inclusion, misconception, and ethnicity. Ethnicity. We have to work always from the platform, right? Yes. Okay. We finish first. Hey, Mayor Ernesto, are you there? Yes, I'm in conception, but I don't know this word. Hey, chicos, if, if maybe you guys can help me with um, uh, open up your cameras so we know that you're there. Okay. Okay. Maybe cultural stereotypes, ethnic groups, breathing associates. In the other words, it's a population where a different are represented from a business perspective. Perspective include race or race, I don't know if race, ethnicity, mm -hmm. age, ability, language, nationality, mm -hmm. socioeconomic status, gender, religion, or sexual orientation. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and what about inclusion? Hello. 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 What happened? We were we were searching. 
Okay, remember that this is a group discussion. So that means that everybody should be talking, discussing. So your your microphone should not be off so that everybody can can talk and dip and talk about your opinions, okay? So even if you are searching something, you know, talk about it. Um, say, you know, oh, I found this. Look at this. You know, what do you think about this? Okay. Okay. I was searching for the virtual uh, stereotypes uh, concept. I found this. It says that cultural stereotypes are generalizations. Uh, oh, I lost it. So, this, yeah, they say it says that. Cultural stereotypes are over oversimplified assumptions people make about an entire cultural group. Yes, I I found something like that is so when someone assumes that uh, people within a, a culture act or think uh, on half a behavior in the same way. It's like uh, when everybody think that the uh, the black people uh, are uh, all of them are criminal or something like that. I guess that's a cultural stereotypes. And uh, yeah, and I found also that they can be positive or negative. For example, I remember a time ago. Here in the Salvador, people from abroad sometimes said that here was a little bit, well, not a little bit, it was a lot dangerous and they Hello. Hello, teacher. Uh, I look it up in the Google <laughs> uh, the description of the work. Okay, good, good. Uh, but what happened? Why every like? Why are you with your microphones closed, guys? Remember, this is a discussion. This is a group discussion. So yes. that means. That means yes, that everybody yes. needs to talk. Mm -hmm. Yes, it, it, we we was uh, uh, looking for more information, and then we are going to discuss the difference. Okay, the difference. That, that's but, fine. That's fine. But don't because this is a, a group discussion. You should have your microphones open and, and say, oh, look, I, I, this is, I'm reading this. I found this. What do you think about that? So discussing yes. the information. Like, yes, uh, uh, we, uh, we already uh, have different, uh, 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 I don't know, roles to, to discuss. Okay, so you already discussed all of the, I, I miss one. You're miss missing one. Options. Okay. Okay. So you guys can discuss it. Just try to to make it participative so okay. that that everybody has a chance to participate and um you know say their opinion and you know things like that. Okay. Okay, thank you. All right. But it's the shirt. Hi, can I have one? Yes. Uh, uh, in my case, uh, I don't. <laughs> I I don't know. Uh, is a. In how is, is the word? I don't know. It's it, is a. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. but it's, it's a important. It's a looking. 
in the Google. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and that's okay. But that's what I that's exactly what I'm talking about. Talk about it with your group. Say, you know, I'm not sure. Tell them, I'm not sure. I think this this talk this is about this. I, I understand this, but I'm not sure about it. What do you think? So it's a discussion. Yeah. So it's, yes. a, it's a group discussion. So yes. even even if you don't, you're not sure about it, it um share, share that that idea with your with your group. Okay. Yes, yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Oh. Wendy, uh, what uh, word uh, do you do you uh, looking for? Uh, I I found misconcep misconceptions and ethnicity. I don't understand. O sea, de los cuatro, ¿cuál es la que usted ha escogido para buscar? Para buscar y poder compartir ideas. No había escogido, no sé cuál. ¿Cuál tienen ustedes? Quiero que le guste, o sea, yo, yo busqué misconception en ethnicity. Eh, misconception en ethnicity. Uh, Susana está buscando cultural stereotypes and miss uh, only miss inclusion. Inclusion. What do you uh -huh, What do you mean about uh, inclusion? Prefer. Mm. Mm. It refers inclusion. For example, person person with with this capacity. Okay. Mm -hmm. With this capacity. Uh, for example, um, the age. Okay. The age. The age. Uh, normal. Normal. Young. Younger. Not only young. Young people. Mm -hmm. Hiding. Um, yes. Uh, for example. Woman and and men, uh, other inclusion, um, I don't know. Um, for example, um, okay, but you have the idea. What is the inclusion? Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, cultural stereotypes, uh, Susie. Uh, what do uh, you mean? Um, cultural stereotype uh, is a similar. Um, uh, ¿cómo? Uh, ¿Cómo se le dice? Nationality. Uh, but it's a, a hello. 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 Hi, teacher. Hi, what happened? Mm, we already finished. You're finished already? All, all the words? Yes. Oh, okay. All right. I'll see you in the main room in a, in, in a moment, okay? Okay. Okay. I strongly suggest that you guys continue talking you know even if you guys are finished the the activity don't just stay quiet 
talks because the idea is that to practice English, right? So even if you're you're finished the activity, you can still continue practicing English. Okay. 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 Teacher, we have a question. Yes. If uh, we are uh, if just discussing the meaning, mm -hmm. or we have to give an example? No, just no, just discussing the meaning. I mean, okay. many many words are similar. It has mm -hmm. has a have a something in common. I, I yeah. Don't know. Yes, definitely they, they do have something in common, yes. Um, and the reason that they have something in common is because uh, we're discussing cultural diversity. It, that's like our topic in unit one. So they all have something to do with cultural diversity. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Okay, you guys are finished? Yes. yes. Okay. okay. I'll see you in the main room in a moment. Okay. Okay. Uh, my my are might be similar, but they're, yep. they're maybe not, not similar, but they they they're related. They are, they are related uh, because uh, I guess the cultural stereoty stereotypes. Uh, even that something is a misconception, uh, have to do, or you have the uh, the misconceptions about the cultural stereotypes because the ethnicity of the people, and I guess the the meaning of these four uh, concepts, I guess are related. Yeah, I think that maybe the the most correct term of, of three are is uh, ethnicity because it's a more formal <laughs> word um, and the other two are like a little bit a Okay, guys, I think I have everybody back. So I am I think from what I understood, everybody is finished. So let's talk about this. Um, I noticed, well, better said, I heard in your discussion that you were talking about how these words are very closely related in yes these um all of these words are closely related do you know why do you know why these words are closely related yes because they refer to people characteristics or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because these words um, have to do with unit one in our book. And unit one in our book is actually called cultural diversity in the workplace. So all of these words have to do with cultural diversity. 
Yeah. So that's why even though they're not the same, but they are related in that sense. They all have to do with cultural diversity. So let's start, let's start with the first one, cultural stereotypes. What do you understand by cultural stereotypes? Can somebody help me with this? Anybody? Do you understand by cultural stereotypes? Well, we, f we found a meaning that says when people assume that all people with a culture act, think, and behave the same way. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very, very good. Mm -hmm. Okay, anything else? Teacher, mm -hmm. uh, also in the in the cultural stereotypes, mm -hmm. uh, we can we can mention about religion. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, people can share the same the same religion, mm -hmm. uh, uh, the same gender. Gender. Uh, they same they they have the same characteristic mm -hmm. in, in uh, groups. Okay, okay, very good. Anything else? Oh, uh, okay, it's in a uh, an idea or an assumption. Mm -hmm. Uh, of one person that be, that belong a, a group. Okay. Maybe uh, maybe it's positive or negative that I the the assumption. Okay. Okay. Very good. Very good. Okay. Excellent. Yeah. It so our cultural stereotypes um always true. I, I think in, in not always is true. Mm -hmm. uh, for for example, uh, mm -hmm. we we can uh, think uh, the Japanese people is smarter mm -hmm. or intelligent or more intelligent than uh, Latin American people, mm -hmm. and this idea is 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 uh, it's not true. Uh, maybe it's other concept, but. Uh, uh, we have the the same in the same capacity of 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 intelligence that the rest of the people in the world. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. All right. So, cultural stereotypes may not be true, but are they necessarily false? Can we say that cultural stereotypes are necessarily false? Ne necessary fault? Do you say that? Or okay. My, or? my question was, are cultural stereotypes necessarily <laughs> always false? False. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Uh, maybe I guess not always. I I have heard example. Uh, I I put an example about the the black people, for example. Mm -hmm. You heard that the black people, all of them are criminals. Mm -hmm. But uh, I know that all of them are are in criminal. But mm -hmm. also, uh, I have seen, or I can say that all of the black people are good for sports for example mm -hmm. and that's that's maybe two concepts or about this kind of people this race uh, i guess it belongs of the cultural stereotypes mm -hmm. 
mm -hmm. and both are in truth mm -hmm. and but all I mean and some of them are criminals mm -hmm. and also some of them are good at the sport mm -hmm. but the most of them uh maybe are, are not criminal but and maybe the most of them are good in the sports mm -hmm. right yeah uh, absolutely yeah very good very good okay excellent what about inclusion? What do you understand by inclusion? Teacher uh, includes persons with this capacity, for example, or women and men, and not only young people in other ages. Okay. Um, uh, so can we, so can we, okay, so inclusion, how, how can we, we say in one sentence? Include. Include what? Include people uh, with this capacity. Include women. Dis disability. Men. Disability, not this capacity. Disability. Ah, oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. Disability. Uh, not only young people. Uh, other age. Age. Okay. All For right. Example. Okay. So include people of all ages, backgrounds, abilities. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Genders. Okay. Very good. So that's what it is in, in general. Okay, very good. Yes. Misconceptions. What do we understand by misconceptions? Teacher, uh, I consider in this term, uh, it refers when, it, the, the, the way when I uh, perceive, in my perception, mm -hmm. Uh, about, uh, for example, uh, rules. Uh, it depends uh, when I the, the when I receive some information. If uh, I I perceive the in a erroneous way mm -hmm. some some information or my perception uh, of of things mm -hmm. or uh, I don't know <laughs> it's a erroneous perception okay it's a wrong perception okay very good yeah the whenever you have in English the word miss means wrong Okay. Wrong. Yeah. Wrong. So anything that has the word mis, like for example, misinterpretation, it means that I interpreted in wrongly wrong. or incorrect, incorrectly, yeah. or misunderstanding. It means that I understood incorrectly. Right. Okay. It was wrong the way that I understood. So misconception means that I have a conception that is wrong or an idea that is wrong. Mm hmm. Good, excellent. And ethnicity? Ethnicity? Me, teacher? Mm -hmm. Yes, go ahead, Norma. A social group that shares a common and distinctive culture, religion, and language. Mm -hmm. Good, excellent. Very good. So people that share a common religion. Yes. What else did you mention, about Norma? Culture, religion, and language. Okay, very good. Okay, excellent. Um, now, this word, I, I want to, th th and thank you very much, Norma. That's a very good um, 
a definition, let's say. Okay, so this word many times is confused with this word. Can you tell me the difference between these two words? The it might be that that uh, in the same race. I don't know if that it does is that correct. The same race we can have many ethnicities. Hmm. Possibly, possibly, although I would say probably the other way around. In, in an ethnicity, we can have many races. That's true. But how can we describe the difference between the two? What's the difference between ethnicity and race? Um, maybe uh, ethnicity has to do with social aspects and race. It sort of uh, has to do with biological aspects, I, I think. Excellent. That's, that's, that's exactly it. Yeah, very good. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, race has to do exactly with uh, something biological which um, influence, for example, physical appearance, um, you know, uh, yeah. So, and if ethnicity has to do more with the social, the social aspect, um, the cultural part. Um, so to give you an, a better idea, um, we can say that a, for example, Salvadorans, Guatemalans, eh, Hondurans, um, and many like Nicaraguans, we share, let's say, like a, a same race. Okay? Because if you go back to uh, our biological um, eh, ancestors, we are we share pretty much the same the same by um ancestors right so we are um you know the we are the offspring of many indian races right so um we we have indian we have a bit of spanish um mostly where where we have that race Okay, but we cannot say that we are the same race as, for example, people from the Caribbean, people like from the Dominican Republic or from many people from Cuba, um, uh, you know, uh, or from Haiti, places like that we would not say that we are the same race because these people have a different um, a biological um, ancestry, right? Many of these, physical. yeah, their physical appearance is different. Why? Because these people are mixed with, um, with lots of people from African descent, their African descendants, yeah? Their ancestors are many people from Africa. Something that we cannot say that happens in in El Salvador um, or Guatemala or or many parts of Honduras, you know. So we would say that the that we are the same race with many places of of Central America, but not of the Caribbean. However. We have the same ethnicity. Why? Because we share things that are the same, like language. 
We share the same language. We share cultural um, similarities, like maybe the food is very similar. Like, um, for example, we eat um, plantain, you know, platanos, right? We eat a lot of plantain, both in the Caribbean and Central America. Um, we share um, the same religion, you know, um, many of our the the um the the predominant religion would probably in in both Central America and the Caribbean would be uh, like um Christianity, right? So that is the same ethnicity, even though we're not the same race. Does that make does that, does that make sense? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Yeah. In any questions about that? Oh no. No. Okay, I I'm mentioning this because um uh, I'm gonna tell you something. Um, a, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna tell you a little a story. Um, a a few months ago, um I was working as a uh, a medical interpreter. I worked for as a medical interpreter for two years. And during this time, um, I one of the things that I noticed was that, uh, for example, in medical um, applications for different things, or they would ask, they would always ask questions like, what is your ethnicity? Or what is your race? So I would have to interpret this to the, the, the patient. And I would say, you know, ¿Cuál es su etnia? ¿Cuál es su raza? And I noticed that um, the majority of the people that of the patients that spoke Spanish had no idea what the question was. They had no idea what ethnicity was or what it race was. In fact, many people got offended because especially when I was asking, when, when I, would, I would translate and say, hey, ¿Cuál es su raza? And they were, they were, they, they were like offended, like, ¿Cómo que mi raza? Like, oh, you know, because they were thinking like maybe, I don't know, they were thinking, uh, I guess like, we use in Spanish a lot raza to talk about like um, eh, cats and dogs. So maybe they were thinking like that. I don't know. But they were getting like some people would get offended. So I, I noticed that, that that's something that sometimes sometimes we can we can get confused. What's the difference between a race and ethnicity? And it's very important that we understand that. So if ever you guys go to the United States, um, to Canada, to the UK, and you get at, you, you will probably get asked this question: What is your ethnicity? What is your race? You know, and don't get offended because it's it's nothing to be. It's just talking about what is what is your biological um, group, let's say, or what is your bio or what is your culture, cultural group. That's basically what they're asking about. Yeah. Okay. Any questions that you guys have about that? Teacher. Uh... I have a, a question mm -hmm. about or uh, when you mention ethnicity mm -hmm. uh, in in the case of uh, Central America, mm -hmm. uh, how how can I say my ethnicity is? What is the what is the correct? Uh, way to perceive this uh, this this question yeah uh, mm -hmm. uh, i would say that we are hispanics spanish hispanic hispanic okay yeah. in ethnicity 
Yeah. Oh, very good. And yeah, we're Hispanic. About, okay. And about the uh, uh, race? Um, race? Um, Mestizos. Yeah. Think. Yeah, exactly. That would be probably the, the, the correct term. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because uh, we, we, uh, in in Central America, mm -hmm. uh, like you mentioned, uh, um, between uh, Caribbeans and Central Americans, mm -hmm. uh, the difference uh, is uh, the color and their uh, what do you say rascos physical you characteristics. Uh, okay, physical characteristics mm -hmm. and uh, they. And about about the 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 island the island or Caribbean, mm -hmm. uh, what is the the race of of them? Um, we would say mulatto. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, but and yet we're all Hispanics. Okay. Mm -hmm. all, always. Uh, also, they they call Hispanic. Hispanic, yeah, exactly. Hispanic. And some people, um, like in, in within um, people that are Hispanic, you will also find that there are like Caucasian people too. Yeah, Caucasian, you know Caucasian? Caucasico? Oh. Yeah, there's also Caucasian, right? So, so there's many, many different races and yet we're all Hispanics because we share the same language. In the, in the, for example, teacher, in the uh, Equator? Equator. Equator and Peru. Peru? Oh, no, you, you mean Ecuador. 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 In uh -huh. Peru, uh, they, they are NDC Caucasian. Uh, Is Hispanic. I I'm not really sure. <laughs> I I'm I'm not really uh, sure how we would. I I think it would it would depend on what part uh, uh, they're from. I I. I make this uh, question because when you when you said uh, Caucasian, I think about Caucasico, yeah. Peru, uh, the 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 rings, the I don't know. Uh, no, Caucasian is actually um, somebody that comes from like the. Mm, hold on, um, it, this is actually from Europe. Indeed. Sorry, you were, you were going to say something, Mario? Yeah, I, I had to say that uh, Europe. Yeah. For, it, for people that is like a white or something like mm -hmm. that, I guess. Yeah, um, exactly. Um, yeah, it's. Um, it says that people from Peru it's also mestizos mm -hmm. because yeah. it's a a, 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 a a mix yeah from uh, American uh, well it says Amerindian and Europe mm -hmm. and Europeans mm -hmm. yeah and it really depends where they're from like what part I think of the country like even for example in Honduras you know you will find people that are are both mestizos and mulatos you will find both right so it depends on what part of the of the country they're from and Caucasian it says that um, yeah, it's parts of Europe, Western Asia too, okay, uh, Western Asia and Central Asia, 
um, South uh, South Asia. Okay, like for example, a you know here in Turkey, this is a perfect example of how men, there are so many race races in this country. It's amazing. You can like, and they're all Turkish. They all they're all from the same eth ethnicity, but their race is may like maybe different because they come like you can see that there are people that are um very very white and other people that are darker skinned there's like yeah. everything it's amazing so they're like there are lots of people that are caucasian here and other people that you know uh have like a, i don't know exactly where where we can say but they have they have like a um a, almost like a an Arabic kind of uh, of a look, right? Um, but there are other people that are very very white. So you have everything, yeah. Okay, well, guys, this is a wonderful, interesting um, topic. However, our time has come up, and we're going to continue with this discussion tomorrow. Um, but before we finish our class, I need to take a, attendance one more time. So please um, uh, listen for your name and we can uh, do this quickly. Christian, Natalie? Christian? Present. Okay, wonderful. Yeah, perfect. perfect. Delbert? Yeah. Delbert? Here I am. Here okay, I am. wonderful. Uh, Diana Elizabeth? Here. Uh, Jennifer? Here. Jorge Humberto? Jorge Humberto? Manuel Antonio? Present teacher. Maria Elena Guadalupe? Maria Elena Guadalupe? Present teacher. Okay. Mario Ernesto Villeda? Present teacher. Uh, Mario Jose Valle? I'm here, teacher. Okay. I'm uh, here, teacher. Great. Wonderful. Norma? Yes, Norma teacher. Carolina? Okay. Uh, Romario? Gamaliel? Present. Present. Good. Silvia Suleima? Silvia uh, Suleima? Good. Susana Beatriz? Susana Beatriz? Present teacher. Okay. And Good Wendy <laughs> Great. And Wendy Maribel. Present teacher. Excellent. Okay. All right, guys. So that will be all for today. And I will stay with Delbert. Okay. So everybody else, I will see you guys tomorrow. Okay. And just Delbert, if you can stay for a few minutes. See you tomorrow, teacher. Okay. okay. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Uh, Mario Ernesto? You have a question? Okay, I guess he got stuck there. All right. Hello, dear birth. Delbert, sorry. Hi, teacher. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine. I, I, I'm a little tired, but but, mm. but it's, it's right. Mm, good, good. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm sure it's 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 late already, so I, I completely understand. <laughs> yeah. That's no problem. Okay. Um it, so how do you feel there with the class? How are you feeling? I, um it's for this moment, uh, it's it's good. I I, I feel comfortable with the, the class. Um, um, may, I I don't have I don't have a question right now. Okay. Um, I I I did my 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 homeworks. Okay. Oh, and, and it's it's a, a good platform because I I didn't know uh, before. Mm. Okay. Um, Maybe I have to, I have to speak more. Uh, I I need to 
to improve my speaking. Um, but uh, but I, I feel fine. I feel fine, teacher. Good, good. So you got a you you got the hang of of the platform. You understand how to use it. Yes, it's it's, it's a problem for me. Uh, uh, for the moment, uh, I, everything is okay. Okay, okay, good. So you haven't encountered any problems with the platform. No, any problems. Okay. No problem. Okay, good, 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 excellent. And um, how do you feel? with the class with the with the rest of the of the of your classmates um, uh, only just uh uh just uh, a a topic uh, i think uh, i think i'm i have a a class a classmate that uh, that the I don't know how to to say it, but it's more basic here uh, the 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 knowledge of English. Mm -hmm. I don't know is is I don't know is if if the level is the same level, mm -hmm. but uh, it's it's only that. Okay, yeah. Remember that um, the how much you get out of the course. Mm -hmm. um, is based also on the input that you put, right? Mm -hmm. So so if you put a lot of effort into something, you're going to get mm -hmm. a lot of um, a lot okay. of something back, right? So Definitely. yeah, so sometimes what happens is that even though we may be at the same level, uh, but if I'm not putting the same effort as you are, I'm not going to improve so much as you are yes right so sometimes that happens you know that that mm -hmm. um you know maybe we have the same knowledge but i may not be improving as much as mm -hmm. you are because i'm not giving so much of right. my effort so so yes it's 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 yeah it definitely <laughs> it, the the idea is to for for us personally to put as much effort into it that's mm -hmm. why i was i was i always tell my students like sometimes when i go into the the different rooms and i see everybody's quiet yeah. and then mm -hmm. i say what happened and they say yeah. oh we're finished and i say okay that's great that you're finished but don't be quiet you know this is your opportunity to speak and to improve yeah and to talk oh, to your God. classmates yeah. yeah so that's the difference once you know um you know it's not just about doing the task but mm -hmm. actually going beyond that mm -hmm. so if you see that there is somebody in the class that may not be participating much maybe also it's because they are shy that happens yeah. too right the that... personality of the shadow yes, mm -hmm, yes. Mm -hmm. i know yes it is, it's the only point but yes. I, I know that you, you you're right yeah so yeah. what you can do is 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 encourage that person you know if you see that mm -hmm. if you see that there is a classmate that is not you know, speaking so much, <laughs> you go ahead and ask them questions, right? Yeah. So yeah. that helps you to practice, and it also um, encourages and um, and and it helps your classmate too, right? right? Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. So, but you, but you're feeling yeah. okay with like um. I, I I feel okay. I feel okay. It's the only point uh, that that the the, the class. Uh, and but it's okay i don't i don't want to be uh, more uh how do you say uh, um just ju a judgment uh, mm -hmm. with you also yeah uh, but judgmental but, okay, I, just mental judgmental but, yeah. Uh, yeah but but you're right uh, i know i know that yeah 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 but um but the, yeah that's that's a valid point it's it you're 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 absolutely right um and mm -hmm. not everybody um 
improves in the same the same way right so yeah but but yeah you can you can do your part and and, and help each other out right so that way a, everybody wins right it's a win-win situation mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yes and, yeah. and other other thing is there there is this this time of class the virtual class uh is is uh is other way to learn mm -hmm. i know that and mm -hmm. maybe it's not the way that that uh, that i learned before and and this this situation of the world is 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 the uh well is the situation that you you can you can learn in this this kind of of platform mm -hmm. uh, for me it is 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 i i have 45 years uh, my uh, old uh, i'm 45 years old and and i and and the virtual class is is, is something strange for me but but i have to to go ahead with that yeah i understand it, it's it sometimes is a change right um mm -hmm. you know so yeah and you can just imagine for example uh what happened for us teachers during the pandemic mm -hmm. you know if we were used to like teaching with the board and uh, yeah. you know and it was i mean i i i i did teach um i did do powerpoint presentations and uh -huh. i could and i uh, and yeah. i and i used the the screen before but i had never done online teaching never uh -huh. and <laughs> um all of a sudden we were thrown in it's like you know do it <laughs> and I it was imagine. yeah it was it was difficult at the beginning but you get used to it after and yes, then, it's a good challenge yeah. yeah yeah and then you will find that it's actually your you probably later you will probably say oh i will never go back to a uh you know a, a face to face class who knows right i don't know because maybe you will get used to it and you will like it i, I hope not it's, it's not my case but but, <laughs> but maybe other people uh, is 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 sir is is here is their their mm -hmm. uh, opinion mm -hmm. no virtual no more virtual class right? <laughs> but is is a it's a good challenge for me right yeah now. yeah yeah i know yeah it's it's you, you're gonna yeah at the beginning it's gonna be a bit of a challenge but you will you will see you get used to it and there are yeah. there are advantages <laughs> there are advantages yeah. just just think about for example uh, the fact that um you can easily connect you don't have to be um you know traveling uh, mm -hmm. to a certain place you know and you can even um like maybe sometimes uh, some students are like uh coming home late from work and they're stuck in traffic and they mm. still could they still connect because they're they're in traffic but they're still in the class and so that's an advantage you wouldn't be able to have if you were right. a, in a face-to-face -face class right so you know there yeah. there are advantages yeah but yeah, i'm sure the, you're gonna get used to it yes i think it's a good opportunity to learn because if the opportunity is, is to approach uh, and 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 take the better of this class of the the, the other people uh, and I, I when when I hear you I learn too because you you teach uh, other vocabulary other words other way to say something. Mm -hmm. and and we have to uh, approach this, this this kind of of, of situations and mm -hmm. place me too because mm -hmm. uh, 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 like you uh, as you say uh, if is if uh, my placement uh, are chai is the opportunity for me to to answer a question uh, or to talk 
with uh, with that people to improve our vocabulary mm -hmm. absolutely uh, I, I mean that. yeah yeah very yeah exactly so it's it's good i'm i'm glad i i want to uh congratulate you because you have the right attitude right yeah. Yes, it's a I, challenge. I think if that's instead good. to go out with my friends uh, drinking some beer, it better <laughs> stay at home. I, yeah, I learn more English. Yeah, <laughs> you see, you you learn, <laughs> you you improve. It, you're also you you can also improve your chances of a better job, more yeah. money, yeah. and you save money. Please, uh, more on, money. <laughs> <laughs> and you save money because you're not spending it on alcohol. <laughs> okay, okay, yes, you're right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. So it's you got to look at it um, in a positive light. In a positive way. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. anything, Delbert, that we can help you with, please let us know. Okay. okay. Um, please okay. let me know. You can write direct. You can write directly to me in the WhatsApp. Or okay. in the group, whatever you prefer. Okay. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. All right. Thank you. Thank okay. You. Well, I'll, is good. Good. I'll let you now. Um, you know, rest and go to sleep because I know you're tired. <laughs> uh, okay. Thank you. It's 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 morning for you, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's just have yeah. A good day, yeah. Starting. Thank you. You all right? And have a good night. You thank thank you. All right. Bye bye. Bye. Bye.